Buddhism, karma, and the laws of physics, everything is connected. In this video, we dive into the fascinating intersection between Buddhist philosophy and modern scientific understandings, especially in terms of karma and the laws of physics. Stay until the end and discover how something simple as the butterfly effect can completely change your life. Before we start, I would like to ask you to share your thoughts about Buddhism and science in the comments below. It's always fascinating and enlightening to read your opinions and insights about this powerful subject. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into it now. Buddhism teaches that everything in existence is interconnected and that actions have consequences that ripple through time and space. This is what we call karma, and we will explore this in more detail shortly. Similarly, modern physics reveals that the universe operates through intricate webs of cause and effect, with every particle and force connected through natural laws. So let's explore how both Buddhism and physics speak to the fundamental interdependence of everything in existence. The concept of karma in Buddhism. Karma is a foundational concept in Buddhism, referring to the law of cause and effect. According to Buddhist teachings, every action, whether physical, verbal or mental, creates a karmic result that influences future experiences. This principle is not just about morality, but about the way our actions shape the world around us and our own future. There is two ways that karma manifest in our lives. The first way is by cause and effect. Every action sets off a chain of events, like a stone dropped into water creating ripples. Karma suggests that our present circumstances are the result of past actions, and our future will be shaped by the choices we make now. The second way is by interdependence. Nothing in this world exists in isolation. Our actions affect others, and we are affected by the actions of those around us. In Buddhism, karma demonstrates that we are deeply interconnected with the world and with each other. In this sense, karma reflects the principle of interconnectedness, which is a central theme in Buddhist teachings. All beings and phenomena are interdependent, and nothing has an inherent, separate existence. Karma and Physics – The Law of Cause and Effect in the realm of physics, the law of cause and effect is a fundamental principle. It governs how everything behaves in the universe, from the smallest particles to entire galaxies. Every action leads to a reaction, creating a chain of events that echoes throughout time and space. We see this in Newton's third law of motion, which tells us that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. This mirrors the Buddhist concept of karma, Every action we take, whether good or bad, produces corresponding outcomes. The effects of these actions might not always be immediate, but they shape our future in ways that can be profound. In physics, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It only transforms from one form to another. Think about that for a second. This idea resonates deeply with Buddhism's view of karma. Our actions are like energy. They create ripples that continue to influence future outcomes, often in ways we can't see right away. Just as energy shifts and changes form, the karma we create through our actions influences the world and our own lives, weaving together events and circumstances that emerge later, sometimes when we least expect it. Modern physics, especially through quantum mechanics and cosmology, has revealed that the universe is far more interconnected than we ever imagined. This aligns perfectly with the Buddhist teaching of interdependence, or prat tiyasamutpada, the idea that all phenomena arise in dependence on other phenomena. In other words, nothing exists in isolation. Everything is connected. One of the most mind-blowing discoveries in quantum physics is quantum entanglement, this is the phenomenon where two particles, no matter how far apart they are, remain connected. The state of one particle instantly affects the state of the other, even across vast distances. It's like they're forever intertwined. This suggests that at the most fundamental level, the universe is deeply interconnected. In Buddhism, we're taught that the self is an illusion, that nothing exists independently. 
This principle of non-separation is reflected in the quantum realm, where the boundaries between individual objects blur and everything becomes part of a larger, unified whole. Let's talk about another concept that bridges science and karma, chaos theory and the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect refers to the idea that a small change in one part of a system, like a butterfly flapping its wings, can lead to vastly different outcomes elsewhere, like triggering a storm halfway across the world. It's a reminder that even the tiniest actions can have far-reaching consequences. This is much like karma, where even the smallest deeds ripple outward across time and space. Our actions, no matter how insignificant they seem, can affect the world in ways we might not immediately recognize, just as the butterfly's wings can change the weather, our daily choices can shape the future, both for ourselves and others. Both Buddhism and modern physics tell us that the universe is a vast, interconnected web of relationships. In physics, this is seen through systems theory and the study of complex networks. Everything whether we're talking about ecosystems or galaxies, is part of a larger whole, each piece influencing the others. The Buddhist concept of dependent origination teaches us the same thing. All phenomena are contingent on multiple causes and conditions. Nothing has a permanent, independent existence. Everything arises and ceases based on its relationship with other things. This understanding points to a non-dualistic view of reality, where the separation between subject and object, self and other, is simply an illusion. The nature of time and karma. In both Buddhism and modern physics, the concept of time challenges our conventional, linear understanding, offering deeper insights into how karma and the fabric of reality might function on a broader, more fluid scale. Let's explore this connection further. In Buddhism, Karma is often misunderstood as an immediate cause and effect mechanism. However, it operates on a much grander scale. Karma spans across multiple lifetimes, meaning that actions in one life may not bear fruit until many lives later. This non-linear nature of karma suggests that cause and effect in the universe are not bound by a single life or even a specific moment. Karma exists outside our conventional sense of time, influencing past, present and future in ways that we often cannot perceive directly. In this way, the Buddhist view of time aligns in some fascinating ways with Einstein's theory of relativity and modern physics, which show that time itself is not fixed or absolute. Einstein argues that time is not a constant. It can stretch or contract depending on factors like speed and gravity, the faster an object moves, for example, the slower time passes for it relative to a stationary observer. And time also moves more slowly in stronger gravitational fields. This means that time is relative, not a uniform, unchanging flow, but something that can be experienced differently depending on your position in space-time. This fluid understanding of time reflects the Buddhist concept of karma, as something that operates across multiple dimensions of time and space. Just as time can stretch or compress in Einstein's theory, the effects of karmic actions can ripple beyond our limited understanding of time. The illusion of linear time. Our everyday experience tells us that time moves in a straight line, from the past to the present, then toward the future. However, Buddhism teaches that this perception of time is an illusion Samsara, the cycle of birth, death and rebirth, presents a cyclical view of existence where beings are reborn in different forms based on their karma from previous lives. Time, in this sense, is not a one-way street, but a repeating cycle where past actions influence future lives and future actions can reshape past karma through enlightenment and spiritual realization. Cyclical Time in Modern Physics some physicists have theorized that time itself might not be linear but cyclical, especially when considering the grand scale of the universe's evolution. The oscillating universe theory, for instance, suggests that the universe may undergo cycles of creation, expansion, contraction, and destruction. 
similar to the Big Bang followed by a big crunch or some other form of cosmic rebirth. This idea resonates deeply with Buddhism's cyclical view of existence. Just as the universe may expand and contract, the cycle of samsara involves continuous cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. In this cycle, beings are trapped by their karma until they achieve liberation, nirvana. The laws of karma can be seen as operating not only within the span of a single lifetime, but across many cycles of birth and death, just as physical processes in the universe play out over vast eons. Higher Dimensions of Time Some physicists theorize that time might not be limited to the single dimension we perceive, past to future, but could involve multiple dimensions, where events from different points in time influence each other in ways we do not fully understand. This is sometimes referred to as the possibility of higher dimensional time, beyond our current ability to perceive. From a Buddhist perspective, karma operates in ways that transcend our usual understanding of time. Karma operates in ways that transcend our usual understanding of time. A karmic action may not have an immediate consequence, but the effect ripples across multiple lifetimes and possibly dimensions. Just as in physics, where time might operate differently depending on the observer's position, the unfolding of karma may be influenced by the deeper, more intricate workings of time and causality. So the idea that time is not as simple and linear as it appears adds profound depth to both Buddhism's teachings on karma and our understanding of the universe through modern physics. Karma, like time, operates in ways that transcend our immediate perception, suggesting that every action, intention, and thought ripples through existence, affecting past, present, and future in ways that may be beyond our grasp. By drawing these parallels, we see how Buddhism and physics both challenge us to rethink the nature of reality and our place within it, opening up possibilities for a deeper, interconnected understanding of existence, cause, and effect. The implications of karma in an interconnected universe the concept of karma in Buddhism and the understanding of cause and effect in modern physics both point toward the interconnectedness of everything in the universe. Neither system views actions in isolation, whether it's a moral decision or a physical phenomenon. Everything is part of a larger, interconnected web. In Buddhism, karma is not a mystical or supernatural force, but a way to understand how our ethical choices create consequences that ripple through our lives and the lives of others. The Buddha taught that every action, whether physical, verbal, or mental, has an effect. Positive actions lead to positive outcomes, and negative actions lead to negative consequences. This cause and effect relationship unfolds over time, sometimes across multiple lifetimes, creating the conditions for future experiences. Karma encourages personal responsibility because it emphasizes that we are the creators of our own fate. By understanding that every action we take has consequences, we are urged to make ethical decisions that not only benefit ourselves but also minimize harm to others. The interconnectedness of our actions in the karmic sense mirrors how physics teaches us that no action exists in isolation. Both karma and the laws of physics underscore personal responsibility. The principle that every action has consequences is key in both systems, whether you're talking about environmental impacts, ethical decisions, or social behavior. Both karma and modern physics suggest that we need a more holistic view of the universe, one that sees the individual as part of a larger, interconnected system. In physics, we see this in how quantum mechanics and systems theory explain the behavior of particles and objects as being influenced by the whole system they're part of. For example, the famous double-slit experiment shows how the act of observing a particle can change its behavior. This demonstrates that particles do not exist in isolation. Their behavior is contingent on their environment and the act of observation itself. Similarly, in systems theory, we see that every part of a system, whether it's a natural ecosystem or a human society, affects and is affected by the whole. 
Just as physics encourages us to see the interdependence of all things in the universe, karma teaches us that our ethical choices are not isolated, but are deeply tied to the well-being of the entire system, humanity, nature, and beyond. Interconnection and Mindfulness Understanding the interconnectedness of everything encourages us to live with greater awareness and mindfulness. When we realize that our actions have far-reaching effects, whether through karmic consequences or through physical cause and effect, we begin to approach life more thoughtfully and compassionately. In Buddhism, mindfulness is about being fully aware of our thoughts, words and actions, knowing that they will have karmic effects. This awareness helps us live more ethically, avoiding harm and cultivating positive karma. It leads to a more compassionate way of living, because we understand that what we do doesn't just affect us, but also impacts the entire web of life. On a physical level, being mindful of the interconnected nature of the universe helps us make better decisions about how we interact with the environment. For example, we become more conscious of our carbon footprint, the resources we consume, and the waste we produce. Understanding that these things have real-world consequences that affect the planet and future generations. In this video, we have explored fascinating parallels between Buddhism's concept of karma and modern physics. Both fields show that everything is connected through intricate webs of cause and effect. Karma, like the laws of physics, reveals that our actions ripple out into the universe, creating consequences that are far-reaching and interdependent. I hope this video, where both spiritual and scientific perspectives are discussed, was valuable for you. For me personally, bridging the gap between ancient wisdom and modern discoveries is fascinating. It offers a unified vision of a deeply interconnected universe where every action matters. Please let me know in the comments which thoughts came up for you when watching this video.